Whether you just got into the hobby and you're a new collector or you've been investing for years, it's important to know where the Pokemon hobby is at and like where all the money is going, what products may be on the rise, uh, where people are, other people are investing. And I'm going to show you guys just a real simple way as far as sealed product goes just to kind of check out like what what's currently selling what's hot what might be uh upcoming we're gonna just jump straight into this and this is just a new thing that just tcg added it's not crazy okay uh in some of my past videos i've gone back and i've manually added up all of these numbers before uh for a video so all we're gonna look at is they added the um ever since they added this you could s see the uh total items sold but they just they simplified it here and they just added uh the total number here now before I had to go back and i made a video and I literally added them all up but how this is important okay so talking about sealed product we know that Twilight Masquerade has been taking off and we're gonna go through Sword and Shield uh, SV era tons of product here but what I like to do is especially you can click on the one month chart so we can look at the one month chart and see that 575 booster boxes of Twilight have sold on TCG player. Now, it is important to note that TCG player is not the end all be all. This does not indicate the entire market. Tons of people are buying from their LGS, from other places, from eBay, right? But I do think it's a good enough indicator where you can get a general consensus, okay? So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, not everyone uses TCG player, but a lot of people do. So uh, in the last month, 575 boxes of Twilight Masquerade and we can pull the three month out and like look at that three month 4300 you can pull so total 5142 but what i'm looking at i feel is the most important is the one month and three months specifically the one month because that lets you know the last 30 days of what's been going on so that is what is important so we're remember that number 575 we're going to look through a few more sets here and i was talking about stellar crown possibly coming out of the gate kind of hot and Twilight having kind of changed people's perspective of what these SV era sets can do. Well, 363 pre-orders, okay, at over $100, and 402 on the three month. So the three month, obviously, it's barely filled out. It's pretty much just the one month, honestly. You could pretty much almost just say 400 for the one month-ish, right? We're fudging a few days. But 363. Now, that definitely is a lot less than Twilight's 575, but let's just take a look at some of the other sets and kind of gauge. This is how we gauge some of the interest, right? Uh, also note, pre-release sets, you know, um, new sets always get a lot of hype. So um, keep that in mind just a little, though. Uh, so we'll start with SV Base, right? Um, not a lot of people's favorite sets. I still think it's a good set, honestly. I think it's the best base set we've ever gotten. Uh, 85. Only 85 boxes in the past month, 323 over the last three months, but 85 over the past month. Then we'll look at Paldea. A lot of people say this is the best set uh, from the era. Um, 162. 162 for the best set in the era that some people say. So that would make Stellar out double outpacing Paldea. So interesting. Then we have Obsidian, 124. People said this was a garbage set. I, if you follow me, you know I said I've said that it's not a garbage set. It's just a little weak, and I think it's underrated. Anyways, the point of this video is not about Obsidian Flames, but 124 sold, three month 470. So interesting there. Paradox Rift, 154 sold, three month 435. So what, like I said, it's mainly the one month because um, I want to see like currently where the market's at. And it's nice that they added these bars so you can kind of see like where most of the sales have come from. So um, that is nice. I do like that TCG player um, added that. Then we'll look at the last set here that we haven't touched on is Temporal. Uh, 162 over the last one month and then three months was pretty good, 742. So uh, if you're, this is just the SV era booster boxes. So um, that's why in that past video, I was kind of talking like the investing might be changing possibly with Stellar Crown. Uh, once again, tough to know, tough to know exactly just because, because of the, the new set aspect, 
But um, it is important to note that Twilight kind of changed the game. Stellar may be a lot more people may be pre-ordering and buying out immediately instead of waiting for prices to drop. So that's kind of where I was getting that from. Um, then, uh, real quickly, I am doing a giveaway. If you guys are interested, uh, go and go back to my channel, click on this video here, the free giveaway. We're giving away a Japanese 151 booster box, a PSA 10 of your choice. So I'm going to give you like five choices and some sleeved boosters. There are going to be three winners. So if you want to enter, click on that video, watch that video. It tells you exactly how to enter. We're approaching 5,000 subscribers. So once we hit 5,000, we'll, uh, announce the winners. Then, um, we're mainly focusing on booster boxes, but I just wanted to touch on ETB numbers real quick. So 151, uh, very popular set, specialty set, right? Last month, uh, 154 sold. Three month, 354. So um, also what what is interesting is you can see the lowest sale price and the highest sale price over the time period. So um, it's very interesting in the average dailies sold. So. Uh, interesting numbers from TCG Player. I am appreciating these. Then, so we'll compare uh, 151 to Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith only 93 sold on the one month. 394 on the three month. So, um, our, arguably the best specialty sets we've gotten uh, from each era. So. Um, Interesting numbers there. Obviously, I think the ETB numbers are going to be a little bit skewed because ETBs are available in so many more places than booster boxes. Booster boxes aren't. You can't go to Walmart and Target and buy a booster box, but you can buy an ETB there. So a little bit skewed on those. But I do think that it is important and relevant information for booster boxes. Let's go to uh, the Sword and Shield era. Now, obviously, Evolving Skies is going to be a bit of an outlier because of how expensive it is, but... It's important to talk about because it is the king daddy of the set, the golden child, as it were. 37 sold uh, in the last month on TCG Player. So uh, with averaging one sale per day, three month is about 100, 107 sold. So um, that is very interesting. Not a lot of boxes moving there. And that makes sense. It's very expensive. But it's just kind of crazy to show like how many boxes move compared to, or how little boxes move. Because you would think with how popular Evolving Skies is that maybe more than 37 boxes were exchanging hands in a month. But once again, this doesn't count eBay or anything else. So uh, that, that is what it is. Then we're going to take a look at Lost Origin. Uh, one of my favorite sets um, from Sword and Shield. I absolutely love it. I think it has amazing potential. But uh, only 67 boxes. 67 boxes sold. And that drove a 9% increase. Three month chart, 287. Right? And you could see most of the sales came here when the price dipped. Right? We had 21, 21 boxes sold the day that it dropped to 186. So a lot of people were taking advantage of that. So, yeah, interesting information. We'll keep going here. Fusion Strike, only 45 boxes sold. So if you're, if you're comparing, um, obviously, different price points. So price points are always a factor, okay? But if you're comparing uh, what's been going on the last month between, if you want to, should I get Lost Origin? Should I get Fusion Strike? 67 to 45. Most people are picking up Lost Origin, um, probably mainly because of the price point. Um, but I do think that they're is a possibility that Lost Origin passes Fusion Strike in price. Uh, I don't know when that would happen, but it's just a possibility um, that I've been thinking about for a while. Next up, Brilliant Stars. Only 47 boxes sold in the past month. 178 over the past three months. It'll be interesting. Um, let's play a more fun game here and just look at a few of these other numbers. Let's pull up the one year. Only 749 on the one year, but you take a more popular set like um, like Lost Origin, 1300. So that's interesting. It's, it is kind of fun just to see um, the one you think you still would think that over a year that they'd sell more than that on TCG Player, but um, interesting numbers. 
So only 47. Now we'll take a look at Battle Styles. Right? Not the most popular set from Sword and Shield, but uh, still a decent set worth investing in. It's kind of on a little bit of a downturn. Only 30 boxes sold the past month. 96 for the past three months. The year, less than 500. So kind of a little bit on a, of a downturn for Battle Styles. A lot, of, a lot of these boxes are kind of on a little bit of a downturn. Chilling Rain, 57 boxes sold. 151 over three months. So, Astral, 29. Silver Tempest, 56. Uh, obviously, you would expect Silver Tempest being as one of the last. Uh, still in stock on the Pokemon Center, so um, you can get these boxes for cheaper there, currently, at least here in the U.S., it's limited for uh, per order currently, but um, you know, being one of the the lower uh, priced sets from Sword and Shield, you know that kind of is to be expected um, to see those numbers uh, up a little bit. It's a lot more affordable than some of these other sets. So um, interesting numbers. So at the end of the day, uh, what can we learn from this? right because that was the whole point of this video is to learn something from this one you can gauge the market interest market sentiment on each individual set you can do this for uh, sleeved boosters anything right anything you want to look at now um, this information was available before uh, I've manually added it for videos but it is now just right there at your fingertips you can check who's buying not who's buying but what is being purchased and like i said that is how um mostly i was thinking about what stellar crown is going to do and also factoring in i do think that the rainbow borders are going to be a big pull um for people i do think that's very interesting so seeing some of the numbers that we're seeing from stellar crown um also Important to note here, too, that we weren't looking at uh, sealed case sales on TCG Player. Those are a separate thing. So um, that might be something else that we can make a video on in the future. Touching on, we'll see who, what sets are selling as sealed cases. That might be interesting to touch on as well. But I do think that, um, so it led me to believe, once you start seeing how popular Twilight is, the amount of sales that it's getting clearly just and it with its price it's not not even close to the cheapest uh box right so very very interesting information there with just everything that's going on with the market right now things tend to kind of hop around and with twilight being like the second most expensive box uh selling that much um indicates that it is a strong set or um, if even if you don't want to look at it as strong, that it is popular. So that's what I applied to uh, Stellar Crown. That even if you don't think it's strong, it looks like it's going to be popular. So um, sales data is always important. Um, and it would be interesting to... Um, in my past video, I added... I like literally went back and I added for a whole month... All the eBay sales with all the TCG player sales to see like what the most popular sets were at the time. Um, so it would be interesting to double check that and manually go back and add all the eBay sold listings. It does take a ton of time, but that gives you maybe a little clearer market picture. But um, so yeah, that is the information I have for you guys. Um, it's not like it's not very hard. You guys can just go on TCG player and check anything you want for yourselves. But I did think that uh, it's interesting that they added that. So yeah, I just wanted to share um, share this with you guys. So you guys can use this tool for yourself. So you guys can make your own informed decisions on what sets um, you're wanting to buy. Like I said, whether you're collecting or investing, it's important to know uh, the market where things are at. So that is going to do it for this one guys thank you so much for watching um if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed obviously you enjoyed the content so do me a huge favor hit the subscribe button hit the like button and then leave me a comment let me uh know below what you think of these sales data numbers so i'll catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase